In this video, we're going to learn how to display text with the PTL or put text line command. The put text line command allows you to display a single line of text on the screen. And the arguments are the command is PTL, then we have the X and the Y values, which are the X and Y position on the screen where the text will be displayed. And then tags is a place where you can add tags, and we'll look at those later on. And then finally, the text that you want to display goes over here in quotation marks. In this first example, we're just going to display some text, and it'll be this text here, at position 1010 on the screen. I'm at the show page, so let's type in the command. So we go PTL or put text line at 10 in the X direction and 10 in the Y direction. And then the text is going to be this is text at 10 comma 10. And then press enter. And so it displays the text at the place where we've asked it to. Now what's I wanted to actually display it at a lower level on the screen, like 100 below. And there it is. So we change the Y value down to 100. So that's how you use the PTL command to display text. There are a number of tags that you can use with the text command. The first one is the TC, which stands for text color. And that basically just lets you set the text color. TS is the text size, and that's a number in points. And it basically determines the size of the text on the screen. And finally, the TF tag is for the text font, and that lets you choose the font in which the, the text will be displayed. Let's have a look at an example of the PTL command that uses tags. Now, as usual, we have the PTL command at the beginning, then we have the X and the Y position. And notice we've inserted the tags before the text we want to display. So what this command is going to do is it will set the text color to red, the text size to 32, and the text font to courier. And the font is basically what determines the style of the text that you'll see. So in this case, we've got courier. And you can see the result is here. Now I'm on the show page again, so we're going to try this command out. So we're going to go PTL 50 space 50, and this is where we're going to put the tags in. So the first one is the text color, which is equal to red. Then the next one is the text size, so TS, and that's equal to 32. And then finally the text font is equal to courier. And then we have the text, so we're going to say this is text. Enter. And there it is. So basically we've displayed this text in courier font, size 32 and red. So I can change it. I could make it blue. Or I could make it a little bit bigger, like 45. And I can also change the font. So I could make it Roman instead of Oops. instead of courier. So basically using tags with the PTL command, you've got a lot of control over the way that text is displayed. Here are some more fonts that you can try. So you've got the Roman font, courier. Then you have Arial, Verdana, and cursive and you can see down here on the right hand side these are examples of how each one of these look also you should be able to use pretty much any web browser compatible font uh, with the tf tag in the next video we're going to look at how to draw squares and rectangles for more information visit jb.works.